The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Byron, get on your knees, you peasant, and all hail King Booker! I love listening to the King speak, the Queen's English. I think King Booker would be amazing on commentary. I think so, too. It'd be great to have him here with us. We should give him your job, Saxton. I didn't say all that. Wave, everybody. Wave at the King. The King wish not acknowledge your petty existence, Saxton. Byron, you would not be allowed anywhere near the castle. I think I have some royal attributes. Booker T, a Hall of Fame career, one of the most inspirational men in the history of WWE. From a tough upbringing to royalty. And also the master of the spin of Rooney. You really know how to ruin a moment, Byron. We're talking serious stuff here. Well, I thought it We're fit. talking Hall of Fame career. We're talking the man's credentials. And he's now a king. He's King Bucca! Oh, without question, one of the most decorated superstars in sports entertainment, period. I always wanted to be in King Booker's court. The snake is here. favorites Jake the Snake there is nothing but pure evil in the eyes of Jake the Snake Roberts a rare superstar who seeks no adoration only fear Hall of Famer with sinister credentials Jake the Snake Roberts looks ready to drop his opponent and then let Damien do the rest. Introducing the challenger from Houston, Texas. Weighing in at 251 pounds, King Booker. And introducing the champion from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Weighing in at 249 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Jake the Snake Roberts. You can see it in the eyes of each individual. Only razor-sharp focus when this much is on the line. Steel cage matches have been around in one form or another since 1936 for these modern WWE superstars take it to a level no one could have dreamed of. Well, you're about old enough, aren't you, Cole? 
you call those matches back then? Yeah. And up of that ancient history, Corey, let's talk about these superstars in the ring here and now. What do they have to do to win here? It's best to play to your strengths. If you're agile enough to climb the cage and escape out of the top, do it. If you can incapacitate your opponent and slip out the cage door, do it. This is all about survival. Anytime you put the fencing around the ring, it brings out the animal in every superstar. A caged animal, that is. He turns it around on Roberts. Booker cuts him off. Oh. Corey, what can be the factor here tonight? Being able to withstand the impact of the cage. No matter who you are, you're going to get thrown into it or run head first into it. Yeah, it's not if you would get locked in the cage, but when. The way a superstar responds to that can be the difference between survival and peril. Stomping. Some serious harm. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Dropped in the knee. Being carried around with ease. Piercing the throat. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, here he goes, working his way up the side of the cage. He's reached the pinnacle of his climb here. And here he is, scaling up the cage wall. Rich in the arm. And he scored the pin. Oh, baby. He gets an emphatic kick out. He is still very much in this. This match has been so back and forth. I think it could still go either way. Ah, oh, reversal catches Booker T. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Take the snake. We know what's next. The snake for the DDT. I think the champ's got it. I can't believe what we just saw. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Destructive arm breaker. <laughs> the colossal clutch wearing that area down here. What a unique submission maneuver here. Look at the pain his opponent's in. How much punishment can he tolerate right now? Right underneath, and just like that, he's out. Jake sidesteps out. Jake the snake. We know what's next. DDT. Now that is why there's a champ for the win. So look at And the champion scores a ball. Face crusher. Up the cage 